welcome to another episode of Coffee and Create. Today we're going to be showing you how to organise your footage before importing them and some important steps ahead of that. So hey, my name's Gav from GK Videography and for the last 12 years I've been a Final Cut Pro editor. Now in today's uh, tutorial, we're gonna be laying down some foundation work. Now I know you've just got Final Cut, you're dying to get into the editing part, but it's important that we lay these foundations ahead of the editing process so that we're just setting up a good uh, set of habits for the future. So as before, we'll jump on the Mac and I'll run you through it. You can do with some WD-40 on this. It's creakier than me. Anyway, so we're in Final Cut Pro 10. We've got it open. And the first thing we need to do is organize your files ahead of the import. Now, I don't mean organizing them within Final Cut Pro 10. You wanna be doing that outside of the program on your desktop within Finder. And I'm just gonna show you what I do with every project before I start importing. So we have here a template folder. Now this stays this copy stays within my hard drive all the time. And what I do before each job is right click on that and duplicate it. So as a side note, you never want to be storing your video files, your music, whatever it, whatever assets you've got for the project on your actual working machine. You do not want to store them on a Mac. You should, you should always edit off an external drive. Reason being for this, it just helps the program run smoother rather than it having to work twice as hard to access the files on the machine as well as running the, uh, the editing software. So as I say, as you right click that, duplicate it, and then you click it to rename it. So we'll just call this Coffee and Create. Obviously you'll call it whatever it is for the, uh, the current project, hit enter. And now what we wanna do is create two finder windows. So Command N to create another finder window. Now we'll just go to the location of where we were here. So we've got two finder windows here, both showing the template folder and, and the freshly named uh, folder for this project. So if we just open the newly created folder, Coffee and Create, you can see within, within this is all the subfolders. So you've got audio, exported video, graphics, library files, photos, and videos. Now this is just to organize your footage within the relevant folders before we import, just keep everything separate and so it's easily accessible when we're editing. Now, over here I have a folder called Organizing Assets. So we're just pretending this is the folder where we've just dumped all the video files or we've got the music and we've chose that. And as you can see in here, these are all mixed up. So we've got, some, we've got an audio file here, we've got video files here, uh, a logo, so graphics, and then a couple of drone shots. Now what we want to be doing is organizing those into the, uh, the newly created folder. So if we click down the video, you can see we've got A cam, B cam and drone. I have them all the time. There may be projects where I don't have two cameras or I might not have a drone, uh, drone shot. So you'll just want to put them in the A cam. So now we can see all these files here are MP4s, they're all video files. So we'll get them by clicking the top one, holding shift and then clicking the bottom one. I'll then Command C for copy, and then I'll open the ACAM folder, Command V, and I'll copy through to the relevant folder. <laughs> now, once they're in to the folder, we just want to click back, and then we want to go over to say the drone shot. So here we have a drone folder. I know here these DGI files dot are drone shots. So again, Command C for copy click the relevant find window, command V, and now copy over. Again, back, and then we wanna be going over to the music file we've got here, it's a .wav, so that's a music file, command C. You wanna be opening up the audio subfolder, and in here you can see we've got external recorders, music and sound effects. Again, you might not use all of them, but for this purposes, we're just gonna be using the music folder. So double click on that, command V, just to create that into the music folder. And then again back so we can get to the subfolders and then we've just got one graphic over here a png file so that's a graphic command c and then open the graphics command v to copy into there so we've got all these files in our newly created folder 
And the next thing we want to be doing is importing those files. So the reason we do that is when we import the files into Final Cut Pro X, it will keyword each uh, subfolder. So I'll show you in a moment, but once you've imported those, you'll have a shortcut to all your drone footage, A cam, B cam, music, whatever you import into the software through the folder, it will create keywords. And I'll show you that in a moment. So before we import the, uh, the new folder, we wanna create a new library. Now there's two ways of doing this. So there's new library here, or you can click open library and it'll let you create new. So let's just do it that way. So create new, we're going to call this, um, we'll just call it coffee and create again. And we're going to save that into the newly created folder uh, into the library files. So every time you create a library, within the library you will have what's called events and projects. Now an event would be, for example in this, would be organising and importing that edit. So this would create a default event here with the date. So we'll rename that called organising and importing. Now we've renamed that, we're going to import the media. So if we click import media here, you can see the coffee and create folder that we organized all our footage in. We're gonna be bringing that straight into Final Cut Pro 10. But I just wanted to go over some of these options here that you need to have selected or deselected. So this first one, you're going to be adding to an existing event. So organizing and importing is the event that we named. So they're going to bring those files into that event copy to libraries, uh, copy to library files. Now you want to have this deselected, otherwise what it will do is duplicate those files so you'll have twice as many files. It copies it to the library where you want to be keeping the files within this copy and create uh, folder. If you have that selected, it'll keep them there and also copy them to the library internally. Now keywords from finder tags and from folders, you want both of them selected. And with audio rolls, leave that ticked. Transcoding, I leave these unticked and all these ones unticked as well. And then close window after import ticked. So I'm not gonna go into the meanings and backgrounds of all these, uh, these options today, but that's a good starting point for you when you import for the first time. So you just click import selected. And now we have all the video files within the browser. Now, if we twirl down the uh, folder there, you can see that these are named from the folders that we created on the desktop with Finder. So ACAM is literally all your video files. Audio is the music that we selected earlier. Coffee and Create comes through because that's the master name. That'll just literally select everything. Drone footage, you can just get straight to your drone footage there. Graphics, there, music, and video obviously is all the video files because obviously we had a video subfolder, it's gonna bring that in as well. So that's the reason we organize the assets, the files, before we import into subfolders like we have because it automatically organizes them for us before we get to the editing process. So if you missed the first episode in this Coffee and Create series, you can catch that by clicking the link up here that should appear now. Yeah, there it is. Um, so that episode is basically just walking around the user interface and showing you what's what. So that ends today's tutorial on organizing and importing your footage. If you found it valuable, I'd love to know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe and find more stuff here, just here. Cheers. <laughs>